everyone wants to know about the contract, and we're not going to ask about the contract. Is it done? <laughs> no. Okay, so it's not done. So now, Jim from Abington, I asked the question, okay? Sent out a little Twitter thing, and the guy was like, hey, man, ask him about the contract. It's not done, Jim. We're talking racing. We're at MDIR with Fletcher Cox, Cox Racing, the man behind Cox Racing. Fletcher, do you really fit in the car? No, I don't. This, uh, the seat is, uh, the ISP is actually poured in to fit uh, the driver and the driver only. So, you know, everything from the hips to, you know, back to the shoulders and head, everything is made to, uh, to fit him. How did you get into racing? I mean, I think I saw something on you on ESPN uh, with the family. Uh, how did you get into racing? How long? I mean, my gosh. I've been around since I was about 12 years old. Uh, my brother got me into it, and I've just been around it ever since. And, uh, and I know uh, I just wanted to continue with it. And until, you know, until whenever, after football, I'll continue to do it. And, you know, that's what I like to do besides playing football. So, I mean, I, I love being behind the wheel of what I drive. Is it is it is it something where are you are you a control freak in in the fact that are you hyper involved in this or are you, do you want to just step back and come and enjoy the weekends? I mean because this is such a great thing. I mean you're sitting right next to the Bruder brothers and they're setting records and tuning your car, and it, you know what? It's it's kind of a cool family atmosphere. So what draws you to racing? I mean, a lot of guys in the NFL are what they're training up for next year, and you're sitting here relaxing, having a great time with the family, hanging out racing. You know, tell me. I mean, a lot goes to it is uh, just being a part of the other team, being a part of my own racing program. You know, even with me being the head guy, you know, those guys still make a lot of decisions for me. And, you know, without those guys, I don't think, you know, any of this stuff would be possible. And uh, just to answer the question about me being active in the pits, I'm very active in the pits, uh, just giving the guys a hand on whatever I need to do. And um, I'm normally the guy that's, if you really want to know the truth, you know, checking the t tire pressure, wiping the car down, make sure the car get you know, uh, to the start line to go get shown, and I'm the one that's strapping them in, so, you know, which is the most important part. Um, also, making the shoots are engaged, and I guess everything. All the little stuff, you know, that I just take it off those guys' hands and I get it done. So you were just out at Tulsa. Uh, how was that? Was that a good experience? Uh, it was amazing, man. I mean, we, we um, had our personal best, a 386, and, you know, I went to my first finals. Um, also, you know, we didn't win, we run up, but it's still an awesome weekend for us. You should move up to Pro Mods. Any thoughts on that? No, zero. Zero, zero interest. No. No, I'm, I'm not interested in it. Um, I mean, as, as you know, these, I mean, these cars here just go as you know, you know, as fast as you know. I mean, sooner or later, you'll be running 370s on a 315 tire, and with the new technology and you know everybody making it possible, you know, especially you know, I got to thank all my sponsors. Uh, I mean, Proline, VP, uh, we got one, a new one on board. Neil Chance Converters on board. Uh, Wicked Graphics. Um, I mean, automized injectors, man. You just got to thank everybody. Mission of Motorsports. Uh, and also, you know, Bruder's doing the management. So um, and I feel like next week and then it'll, it'll be real good. We'll probably see our first uh, 370 pass. How many more runs left for this season for you? How many more are you going to attend? Um, right now we're going three weeks strong this week. And we've got two more weeks. And I think we've got maybe, um, say, a couple months off. And then uh, I'll be back playing football, going back, and those guys go. So they go back to Den, and they go to, to the big No Mercy race, and then they go to Huntsville, and that'll be it for the year. Wow. I mean, the ultimate access with Fletcher Cox, Philadelphia Eagle Fletcher Cox, drag racer Fletcher Cox, great young man Fletcher Cox. Do your research on this guy. Hey, Fletcher, what a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming on the Limo Guy Show.